Nuclear submarines today are not only a means of attack, but also a symbol of strategic power, capable of changing the balance of power anywhere on the planet. A special place among them is occupied by the Virginia class with Block B submarines, which incorporate the most ambitious engineering solutions. Today we'll tell you why this modernization is so important for the fleet and how submarines of this class can surprise their opponents. Lately, there have been increasingly loud voices that the United States is facing the threat of the extinction of its submarines. The U.S. nuclear submarine fleet numbered 140 boats during the Cold War, and wherever Soviet submarines went, they found themselves being monitored and tracked by U.S. submarines. Today, the U.S. submarine fleet consists of 69 submarines, only 50 of which are of the hunter-killer fast attack category. Moreover, 20 of these 50 submarines are in dry dock or simply tied to piers due to the Navy's three-year lag in maintenance. And the Navy itself, in assessing the structure of its forces back in 2016, came to the conclusion that it needed 66 attack submarines. Added to this is the fact that not a single completely new shipyard has been built in a century, and the private sector has only modernized existing sites. In short, no matter how you look at it, it's all negative. But is it really that sad? In fact, submarines remain the most secretive component of the U.S. nuclear triad. See for yourself. Land-based intercontinental ballistic missiles can easily be attacked. Nuclear bombers can be attacked too. And what about submarines? How realistic is it to destroy them quickly? Well, it's quite realistic. If only the ocean suddenly became transparent. This is why ballistic missile submarines, often referred to as boomers, have been and remain the most reliable deterrent components. Thinking about this, former Vice Admiral Michael J. Connor, commander of the United States Submarine Forces, correctly noted that it's easier to find a grapefruit-sized object in space than a submarine at sea. And this is despite the fact that the length of the average boomer is almost equal to two football fields. So despite widespread skepticism over the past 50-plus years, the U.S. has advanced so much in submarine technology and undersea security that its boats are now undetectable by either Russia or China. Additionally, the U.S. Navy continues to invest heavily to ensure that its submarines remain the most advanced on the oceans. Of these, almost a third are Virginia-class nuclear attack submarines with cruise missiles that have been in service with the U.S. Navy for over 20 years. The class was originally developed in the late 1980s as part of the U.S. Navy's Centurion Concept Initiative to develop a replacement for the Los Angeles class and a cheaper alternative to the Seawolf class, which was cancelled after only three were completed, costing taxpayers an insane $13 billion, instantly making them some of the most expensive nuclear submarines in U.S. history. In 1991, Centurion became the new SSN, NSSN, which seven years later became the more familiar name for us, the Virginia class. Taking a cue from its less fortunate fleetmate, Seawolf, Virginia quickly figured out the direction it needed to go and used a lot of commercial, off-the-shelf COTS components, especially in its computers and data networks. This helped cut production costs significantly, bringing them well below the projected $1.8 billion per sub, at least at launch. Where there are new boats, there are also many innovations. Virginia became something of a Gerald R. Ford for aircraft carriers, bringing dozens of innovations that had never been seen before in any class of U.S. submarines. Virginia was the first class to feature a common mast design called the Universal Modular Mast, UM, although the very first UM was installed on the USS Memphis, a Los Angeles class submarine. It includes snorkel mast, two photonic masts, two communication masts, one or two high data rate satellite communication SATCOM masts, enabling communication at super high frequency for downlink and extremely high frequency for uplink range, radar masts carrying in BPS-16 surface search and navigation radar, electronic warfare mast and BLQ-10 electronic support measures used to detect, analyze, and identify both radar and communication signals from ships, aircraft, submarines, and land-based transmitters. The Virginia class also pioneered the use of photonic sensors in place of the traditional periscope. The submarines received high-resolution cameras, light intensification sensors, infrared sensors, an infrared laser rangefinder, and an integrated electronic support measures ESM array. Previous periscope designs required them to penetrate the submarine's pressure hole, 
reducing its structural integrity and increasing the risk of flooding and required the submarine's control room to be located just below the fin. Photonic masts, on the other hand, do not penetrate the pressure hole and allow the control room to be moved to a position inside the pressure hole without requiring it to be located in a specific section of the submarine. But because the photonic masts look so different from the usual periscopes, the U.S. Navy was faced with the unexpected task of camouflaging them by installing low-profile photonic masts, LPPM, which are much more reminiscent of traditional submarine periscopes. After all, no one would want their enemy to be able to immediately determine what kind of submarines in front of them, even visually. Instead of a traditional bladed propeller, Virginia has been fitted with base systems water jets developed for the British Swiftshire submarines. They reduce the risk of steam bubbles forming in the water due to the pressure drop across the propellers when they spin too fast, also known as cavitation, and generally make the class of boats quieter. In terms of system architecture, the Virginia is similar to the F-35 fighter jets in their flexibility. The class has an open system architecture, which allows for the rapid introduction of new hardware and software as they become available. These improvements are divided into two parts, technology insertions every four years and advanced processor builds every two years. The original Virginias were 377 feet long, 34 feet wide, and displaced 7,800 tons submerged, but the latest Block V models have improved significantly, growing to 461 feet in length and displacing 10,200 tons. Overall, since the launch of the lead ship SSN 774 Virginia, the class has become many times more dangerous to enemies. Although the first models were already quite powerful, Having 12 Tomahawk Vertical Launch System VLS launchers for attacking land targets, with four torpedo tubes for torpedoes or MK-48 mines. In Block 3, the single-purpose VLS cruise missile launchers were replaced by two multi-purpose six-missile Virginia payload tubes VPT launchers, but the biggest update awaits these submarines in Block V, which has already been dubbed floating missile batteries.